And there's another one. And Belgari looked like he almost went down. He's wobbly right now. Pereira closing in and he gets a shot off after the bell. Lose his title almost as soon as he won it, or can he beat Belgari in front of his home fans? Here we go. Five rounds for the middleweight championship of the world. Pereira came out with a lot of good energy. Trying to bring the fright right away to Belgari. A lot of traits in his knees. Where Pereira's gonna focus a lot on his boxing. Him in Amsterdam. And a nice uppercut from Belgari. Great! Sparring with Belgari, he says, I hate it. Not so much because he beats me up, because I can't hit him. Six foot five inches. Fell in love with kickboxing and made the switch. Turns out it was a very good move. But he is very hand-based, is he not, Joe? Little strikes, you can see it's Belgari who's outlanded the Brazilian. Two to one. Pereira's got some sneaky oh, oh. power to him. There's another shot right oh. as the bell rings. And Gudo himself, so we've got to see Big Nog around the hotel all week. Round two, scheduled for five. The middleweight championship of the world is on the line. Nice question mark kick for Belgari. And all five judges did give it to Usri. Oh. Good combination for Belgarwin, who's putting on the pressure now. Yep, that's his key to this fight. He's got to stay busy. Another knee in the corner. Break! Oh. 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 Paul Nichols warning Belgari for the shots to the back of the head. What was his key to winning that fight against Simon Marcus back in October? Well, he was doing a good job using his boxing and, and attacking going backwards, which was a good strategy for him. And he's got to stay busier here. He did throw a good body punch. Or in both hands. Yeah, and he's really relying on his left hook. Seems like he's really trying to catch Usri with the left. I do like what Pereira and he caught him with a right. Belgori goes sprawling back into the ropes. Bogari claims it didn't hurt him, but it seemed like a very legitimate shot from Pereira. And there's another one. And Belgari looked like he almost went down. He's wobbly right now. Pereira closing in, and he gets a shot off after the bell. What an explosive finish there to round two. Belgari wanted to go after Pereira. But both guys need to keep their emotions in check. Well, lost in the commotion there, that late punch is the fact that Pereira rocked Belgari for sure. Let's see if the judges gave the Brazilian round two. When he went sprawling backwards, he may have gone down with that punch. Either way, it's a confidence booster for Pereira, who knows that he can hurt Belgari. Nice jab, flying out of Belgari's mouth. Yeah, that was a left hook from Pereira. On oh, a right hand, buckles Belgari. He almost went down. Can Pereira close the show? Belgari going to be given an eight count because the ropes kept him up. A massive cut exploding over the right eye of Belgari. And it's over instantly. The doctor says no, it's done. And Pereira has defended his middleweight championship. Way to come back for Pereira. He was down two rounds, was able to come back. And that's actually how Usri stopped Jason Wilness. I think Pereira found a good knee in that exchange. Here's a look at the ringside doctor has stopped this contest with an official time of one minute, 52 seconds of that third round. It's ruled a technical knockout for your winner. And still, glory middleweight champion of the world, Alex Pereira. Here to present the glory belt, our chief executive officer, John Franklin, and glory board member from Liberty Global, Mr. Bruce Mann.